Hello, this is Jeremy Wade. I've just been talking to Kara. Uh, we've probably gone on way over our allotted time. I'm sure she'll manage to scrunch it down to something that uh, is interesting for you to listen to. Uh, that's the really famous podcast. Okay, great. But I'm not going to scrunch it down into something. <laughs> the whole thing was interesting. Right. Just saying. <laughs> Today, Jeremy Wade is returning to the show. Jeremy and I first met in New York City a couple of years ago, and now we are catching up on Zoom. I'm here on the East Coast of the United States, and he is at his home in the UK. If you heard my first talk with Jeremy, you're probably looking forward to this because he's a really authentic guy, as you know from that last talk. He's open and honest and reflective. Last time, he talked about his very unusual journey to where he is today, including a lot of ups and downs. And during today's talk, we get into his personal reflections on work and life and being real. So where is Jeremy today? He is hosting a new nature series, of course. Jeremy first came to fame on his Discovery Channel show, River Monsters, then came Mighty Rivers, and now he's hosting a brand new show for the Science Channel called Mysteries of the Deep, where he searches for answers behind the world's most iconic and baffling underwater mysteries. You can catch Mysteries of the Deep now on the Science Channel or check out new episodes every week by downloading the SciGo app. That's S-C-I-G-O. As you probably know by now, I'm now airing many of my interviews in a video format on YouTube. So if you'd like to see Jeremy and me catching up, head to youtube.com slash really famous right now. Click on subscribe and then click on that little notification bell so you get notified every time I drop a new video, which nowadays is quite often. So I hope to see you there. And in the meantime, I'm bringing back BetterHelp as a show sponsor. You know I'm a big proponent of therapy. It can be a total game changer in how you feel and how you live. If you're struggling with anything, anxiety, stress, sadness, self-esteem, relationship problems, therapy can make all the difference. And right now, I feel like it's just the right time for better help because it's an online platform and it's been around for a while now. You can get convenient, discreet, and affordable access to a licensed therapist anytime, anywhere, through your computer, your tablet, or your smartphone. You pay a low flat fee for unlimited private and secure counseling through text or chat or phone or video sessions or a combination, your choice. To start talking to your therapist in less than 24 hours, go to betterhelp.com slash really famous. Be sure to use the link betterhelp.com slash really famous to get 10% off your first month. And now here's Jeremy Wade. So I just I did a DIY hair. I just did a D, uh, my second DIY haircut uh, yesterday. So Wait, you did bad. that yourself, really? It looks very good. Yeah, it's not too bad, is it? Yeah, yeah. Um, in the mirror and with some clippers, and then you're having to, you know, trying to work out which is back, which is forwards, which is left, which is right. Is all a bit. It's all a bit. It hard, looks great. I think you did a nice it? job. But uh, other than you, not many people are seeing me. You know, I'm just sort of staying in the house and walking around a bit. Yeah. Right. So mm. where are you? I forget. You told me last time you live in a small town, right? In the UK? That's it. Yes. Yeah. So I'm in uh, southern, southern UK. Um, I, think, I think a lot of people in the US have heard of Bath. Uh, so I'm, I'm about half an hour south of that, sort of fairly, fairly rural area, small town. Okay. Yeah. How are you holding up? Uh, keeping more or less sane you know so, so sort of in the circumstances doing all right so far i'm very lucky here again you know it's it, it's rural i've got a garden i can sit out in the sun i can go for a walk uh you know so it's 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 okay yeah yeah, yeah. so do you remember our talk last time that's the big question i do yes um i uh, i remember the i remember where it i remember the sort of the layout of where it was i can't remember how we got there or where it was exactly yeah yeah, yeah. So that was interesting yeah 
So I saw your new show last night. I saw the screener for the first episode oh, of Mysteries right, okay. of the Deep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So congrats on that. Another new show. It seems like you get to have a new show like every couple of years or something. Exactly. I keep thinking this is it. Uh, we've sort of hit the hit the bumpers. There's there's maybe maybe we, we've exhausted the subject matter. But then this came up and. Uh, yeah, it's a case of how about taking things from just mystery creatures to let's just open it right up uh, to all the other stuff that might be down there under the water, both the oceans and fresh water. And the, yeah, it turns out, well, there's, there is quite a lot. What can you say about that that's new? I think that was, uh, you know, that was partly what we're trying to do. It's not just, you know, here's another one of these stories that people talk about, but is there anything that we can say about it that's, that adds something you know, you know anything new in the last few years yeah i think it mm. seems very different to me and like there is plenty to talk about like well, even in that mm. first episode you had probably like four or five different mysteries that you looked into yeah that's it i mean i, I think uh, each episode has has four or five different stories mm. and uh so they, they you know they 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 zip along some of them you sort of think oh you know there's more here this could maybe be a whole program but right. uh yeah i think en- enough to en- enough to whet people's appetites and hopefully leave them sort of satisfied but still it's interesting isn't it because i think a, a lot of people don't like necessarily to have a mystery completely solved. I think we always need that little bit of mystery left, don't we? It's a bit like it's a bit like seeing how a magic trick is done. And sometimes when you see that, it's a bit disappointing. And it's like, oh, is that what it is? It's this mechanical thing. And and okay, okay it's very clever, it's very technical, but I sort of wish I didn't know that. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Mm. Well, there was one on last night's show that you left unanswered, kind of. It was mm. like you went through the whole thing. Which one was it? I feel like it was the towards the end of the show. Oh, it was about the ship that just kind of floated oh, away yes, 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 yes. from Nova Scotia. I mean, am I giving that? I guess I'm sort of, it's a spoiler that I'm giving right now. No, but. I think, well, it's a, you know, this is, this, is a, this is a problem I've been having. I've, I've been asked to talk about the show and it's like, well, I don't want to obviously give too much away. Um, but yeah, I think that was the, the one about the, 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 the ghost ship, wasn't it? The, uh, the, the Russian cruise liner that was decommissioned. It was being towed away yeah. to, to be, to be scrapped and the, the, the cable broke and it drifted off and it just dropped off the map. Um, and, and because the fact that it wasn't operational meant that it wasn't transmitting anything and it's just floating around the oceans and, and, some satellites thought they picked something up that matched its its footprint. The Coast Guard in Ireland raced there, and it wasn't there. And uh, and this is just one of a whole fleet of ghost ships, which is something I never knew existed. And so I think uh, I think maybe yes, if I was if I was a ship's captain or on a cruise ship, I might be. You know, I might. Um, I think somebody described them. One of the scientists said they're they're, they're like metal icebergs just floating around. Yeah, you know? yeah, so, that's what they <laughs> said. Right. It's so interesting to think that that could be happening out there, like just somewhere in the middle of nowhere. But yeah. it's interesting that you just said that you didn't know about that because yeah. that's what I was thinking about last night. Like it seems like. There are so many facts that you present in all your shows, like, you know, but then this, but then that. And mm. it's like, it seems like you know everything about what's going on out there in the world. But I guess as you're researching it, no, you're learning as you go too, right? Well, exactly. I mean, in a sense, I mean, the, the, the programs that I'm used to doing are investigations. And, and this was also an investigation. It's, it's, so it's, uh, here's something that, we, that we've stumbled on and... You know, we had access to a lot of very interesting um, archive, not just stuff of uh, film of, of new f- phenomena, but but sort of very uh, valuable archive relating to ancient mysteries. So we've we've got the visual element of it for TV. But then what we did, we sort of put that together with uh, we assembled this very diverse panel of experts so engineers marine archaeologists mathematicians psychologists uh, tree uh, ring specialists tree, tree ring specialists uh what else um uh fluid dynamics you know you name it i, I mean so and and some of these people when they sort of put their input into into some of these stories it's like hang on a minute here here's a new insight this actually if it doesn't solve it completely, it, it, you know, it becomes, oh, a little, you know, it's, it's, it's tantalizingly a little bit closer. 
Yeah, it's very cool. Mm -hmm. I think it's a great show. So mm -hmm. how many episodes are there? Did, how yes. many did you do? Uh, 10 episodes. So I guess you did it all before the whole coronavirus pandemic situation, right? Yeah, we uh, yeah we were lucky. We just we were just sort of uh, uh, well. In fact, we've had to the actual uh, the post production. Some of that has happened um, after after the lockdown. So the production company did an amazing job because um, you know the, I work with a production company in Bristol in the southwest of of England, and they um, you know, they've got an office. Uh, they do a certain amount of editing in house, and then over the space of a couple of days. Um, almost everybody, apart from a very small skeleton staff, went to work at home. We had editors doing stuff at home. So a lot of that stuff, you know, a lot of the finishing touches um, was actually done from home. I was even doing some of the, a little bit of the audio. Sorry, oh. can you hear this? It's, it's, my email's pinging there. Um, I, I, was, I was even doing um, some stuff. So, so they were able to, instead of having it in the limbo, they were able to put the finishing touches together and get it out, which is which is amazing. I mean, uh, that I is. Not, yeah, I'm not a technical person, but I mean, they, they pull out all the stops for that. It is amazing. I was actually thinking mm -hmm. last night, I had a feeling you did it all ahead of time, but it looked like it could have been the kind of thing that you could even put a show together like that, I think, if you had to, with, even during a lockdown. I mean, because all the interviews too, with all the experts that you talked to, they mm -hmm. could have each done their own interview too. Of course, the lighting and everything else wouldn't have mm -hmm. been perfect, but yes. I guess you could have done that. And it looked like you were just standing in one spot the whole time, right? That's it, that's it. That's it. Where so, was that? So, uh, that was, we found this amazing place uh, in, in the southwest of England, a bit of coastline in the county of, of Devon. And... Uh, I was I was looking at the geology there. You've got those amazing rock strata, and I went and I looked it up. Apparently, it's this is where a couple of uh, tectonic plates, a couple of land masses, just crashed together way back in in prehistory, and so all the strata have completely crumpled. They're all going in different directions. It makes this incredibly sort of all these jagged rocks. The waves come crashing in there, and all you've got to do is just point the camera in a slightly different direction. You've got a whole new backdrop. That's and cool. And so we were doing that. Um, I don't have great memories of that because we were doing that. Uh, things got a bit delayed, and, and instead of doing it in lovely summer weather, we were doing it in the middle of winter. And well, it, uh, and so I am. If if my mouth looks slightly sort of in a bit of a rixus, you know, I was I was I, it know, doesn't. I, I was in the process of freezing here, you know, now and again. But I mean, it was it, yeah, it was an amazing setting, and it again, it really speaks to. I mean, what just a great background for for just talking about the power and the mystery of the ocean. I think. Yeah, very cool. Mm. So for the other episodes, are you in that same spot or do you travel? Because normally I'm used to seeing you travel. You're all over the world. And I know that you've spent your whole life basically traveling. Mm. So are you doing it for this show or is it a little different? No, it's a little bit different this one. So, so uh, I was I was doing those you know those links uh, from the same place. Yeah. So basically, the traveling was really. Uh, we travel by means of 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 archive film and and and, and other you know other other clips that, that we do and 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 bringing in the experts so it's more of a it's a bit more of a i suppose a mental journey yeah 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 mm. so do you miss the actual physical travel uh yes i do yes yeah. yeah 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 no i was i was uh i was supposed to be i was supposed to be off in march but you know we saw in advance of things so the, what we saw the way things were going and thought mm, this isn't going to happen and so so were you home at that point i was home but uh, but uh i i i've i i, I was packed I had a, I had a, I had my, my, you know, my packing list was halfway, halfway done. It's, it, you know, it's quite sad. It's sitting there. I've got a, I've got a bag, which I'm, you know, I'm now, I'm now raiding for underwear and stuff, you know, which was, you know, which was, it was sitting there. Um, and it's, it's sort of, it's, yes, it's this, this sort of semi plundered bag that, that I've, uh, with a list, this very sad list with the date of March 2020 on the top oh. of it, you know, sitting there. Yes. But, uh, it, it will happen eventually, but um, yeah, I'm just being philosophical about it now. Yeah, I mean, yeah. so so that was for work though, right? That was a work. That was it, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Where were you headed? Uh, I was going to go to Brazil. So, mm. uh, you know, not a, would not be a good place at all to go now. Yeah. Who knows, who knows how long it'll be uh, before it's uh, advisable to... To go back there. Um, so I guess uh, time will tell on that. Yeah. Absolutely. So how are you doing emotionally 
now that you're home a lot? Well, as you know, I, I I am quite lucky in my situation. I, I, you know, a lot of people are really struggling. Um, yeah. People who people who live in cities and they can't go anywhere. I mean, they, they must be. I can you know, I can just imagine how how it must be stuck in an apartment or something like that. And if you go out, lots of lots of people. Are out. I'm 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 very lucky. I, I live in a, a small town, rural community. Um, I've got a garden. I can sit out in the sun. I can go for a walk. Um, they recently just in the last few days they've said it's okay to go fishing as long as you uh, physically distance yourself so i've i've been a couple of times down the local river um but i think yeah what's interesting it it, it is it's very different you know it 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 it, it is something that uh although we sort of people you know people are sort of accepting it but it just it 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 just it came out of the blue and I think it's it's something that really does make you think, or it should make you think. If it doesn't make you think, then you know you're not really paying attention. What are you thinking? God, oh, all sorts of stuff. Um, well, I, I mean, I, 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 because I am uh, what, what I do is 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 an international thing. I, I travel around a lot, so. Um, I am not looking just at what is happening here. I'm looking at the international situation. And when you and when you see how different countries have responded differently, that is, you know, that is a real eye opener. The idea, you know, our government is saying to us, oh, you know, it took everybody by surprise. You know, this is, you know, we're just doing the best we can. You go, if if you look at what some other places have done, I'm sorry, that just doesn't hold up. You were asleep. You know, you were not paying attention. You are not fit for purpose. And, and we're stuck with them for for several more years now. Um, and what can we do about it? I mean, yes, they are slowly waking up, slowly trying to get a grip. But they gave it such a head start that we have, you know, we have so much further to go now in terms of of, of uh, getting to any kind of normality. So. Uh, you know, and, and an yeah. individual caught up in this situation. God, you know, it's you've just got to. It is a bit like being flying in an aircraft. Someone else is flying it. You, you know, you are just as it well. You are entirely um, dependent, in, in in a sense, on 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 what the pilot is doing. And if the pilot happens to be unqualified or on, you know, a kid on work experience or something, then my God, you know, there's not a lot you can do about it. Right. That's a good analogy. <laughs> but like, and you fly all the time. And if you think about that, when you're in the air, like you don't even want to think about that, but it's true. Every time you fly, like literally it's the same thing as what's going on now. Well, exactly. I think exactly. If, if you're flying, then, you know, whoever is flying this, this, this machine is, is qualified. They've been through a tr whole training process. You know, there are engineers who keep this thing airworthy and all the rest of it. It turns out that a country you know, you can get to run a country just based on making up, uh, making up a slogan that a few people like, you know, and then when something like this comes along, just don't know what to do. It's, you know, it is quite um, sobering. Yeah, <laughs> sure. So are you thinking about, like, do you feel like you're going to change anything about the way you do things later? Like when the lockdown sort of, I don't know what you would even say over, but you know, has it well, kind of cha changed perspective for you in terms of what you make changes that you want to make in your life? Yeah, well, I mean, from, I mean, from the work point of view, I think it's it, it's not going to be like a switch. It's not going to it's not going to just get back to normal. Uh, yeah. it, it, it'll be it'll be a process, and so um, it's yeah, it, it's 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 a case of responding to things as they uh, as they unfold and. I, I don't know. I mean, personally, like I was just saying just now, I, th I, th I think a certain amount of acceptance is is necessary. You know, it, we can't just mourn the old days and oh, this is terrible. You know, uh, this we are where we are. There, there has to be a certain amount of acceptance. But again, I think uh, we also possibly have a duty to speak out and and and, and be critical um, where that's necessary. In terms of me, I mean, I, mean, I don't know. I, um, I, I want to be working again. I mean, it's interesting you said earlier on that, that a show like uh, Mysteries of the Deep, that is the kind of thing that you could you, you could do under lockdown. Yeah. And I think having done it once, it's all, you know, the first time is always hardest. 
and uh, yes, I think it would be possible to do that kind of show. That would, you know, that would. A lot of the people, a lot of the people I work with, have uh, a lot of them are on furlough now. A lot of them on reduced hours, you know. So that would bring people uh, back to work to a certain extent. Um, but I, I miss the actual going out and uh, out and about, meeting people, and. Uh, yeah, you know, it, it's, yeah. It, it's, uh, you know, I, 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 I get cabin fever and I, and I think I just have to sort of, well, uh, there are, you know, it's, it's looking for the silver lining. So, so it's, uh, yes, I get to sit in my garden. I get to, I've been filming the fish in my pond. I've got very secretive fish in my pond. They never, they never come up to the surface. So I sort of, I've been sticking a GoPro in there and trying to film them and, uh, catching up on reading you know things that i that i don't get time to do otherwise so it's 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 trying to trying to stay productive and and trying to not just go into suspended animation but um and it's been you know here it's been nearly two months sort of lockdown it's it's you know, wanting to, to to see something that uh, that you've achieved i guess yeah um mm. so okay so where are so you're, you tell me about where you are you're in the rural town you're getting outside are you with anybody? Are you alone? Your family with you, or what? No, I'm on my own. So I'm, uh, yeah, it's just me in the house. So, so what I, is that like? It's a bit weird. Um, one of my brothers lives about five minutes away, and uh, I have been isolating from him. So we've, we, you know, we've been doing uh, like sort of video calls on on the phone. And it's, it's, it's really weird because it's like, he's, he's only around the corner, but it's like talking to your relatives in Australia or something. It's like, what's the weather like over there? Oh, well, it's, it's, it's obviously it's, it's the same as here because you're yes. only, um, but no, as of a few days ago, um, it, it's now, you know, the rules have slightly changed. So I can actually, I, I can actually go and stand at the end of his garden and one of the family can come to within two meters of me and we can have a face to face. So that's a bit strange having just seen him in a. In so the, did you do that yet? Or are you going to do yeah, it? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, you yes, did yes, it? Well, and how was it? Oh uh, yeah, that was interesting. Uh, although the, the, their dog, which I used to take for a walk has sort of forgotten who was very merry of me would, would, would sort of, uh, would come close and then slink away. It took me quite a while to sort of remind the dog who I was and to wow. get them to, to reaccept me. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> we, I did something similar. We've done it a few times because we can. We're allowed to do that. So where we've seen, like my parents, we've gone to visit them, but you know we're isolating. We don't want to get too close to them. We don't want to risk them getting sick. So like we'll go to their backyard and they'll stand on their deck and mm. you know we'll talk to them. We did it for Mother's Day, but it's just not the same as like sitting around the dinner table mm. and telling stories and making jokes or whatever. Mm. It's so weird. It is it is very odd, isn't it? And and it um and it's it's interesting what you sort of accept as normal. I mean when when we when we started, you know, the whole the whole thing before we we actually had sort of lockdown here, before um when we were sort of advised just to give people a, a wide berth, if you're walking along the sidewalk and someone's coming towards you and you would step to one side, the you know, there was this feeling that they're they're gonna you're offending somebody by by right. by doing that and it took a while it took you know i'm thinking it took a week or two before actually everybody is okay with that you know because you do that and you give a little smile and hopefully it's like you know it's nothing personal yes. it's just when you know we are doing this because we're you know we're trying to stop this thing spreading and not uh, just that um, but it's almost the opposite actually so if you mm, don't if somebody yeah, yeah. doesn't do that then yeah. it's like wait hey what are you doing like we need to space ourselves out from each other so if mm. somebody takes up the road or whatever and doesn't go to the side it's like hey it's the opposite of what you would think before I, ex exactly uh, you become very aware of your of this sort of space around you. And actually that's interesting because that's something I have noticed when traveling, you know, when you go to, uh, if you go to very crowded parts of the world, uh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking the sort of the, 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 the Northern, the, you know, the plains of India, the, the sort of, you know, the area uh, around, around Delhi there, for example, you know, where you very dense population and, and you're suddenly just aware that, that, uh, you know what I regard as my space is just being encroached all the time, and and you you then you know you you make an adjustment to that. 
um, and what we've got now is a sort of, a, yeah, there is this sort of psychological space that you're recalibrating around yourself. Yeah, it yeah. is so, it is so strange, you know, even when you see people and you, like you're saying, you kind of give them that nod, they give you that nod and you like acknowledge or whatever. Mm. It's still like you wouldn't break out into a conversation or something like maybe you used to do, or you would have done a few months ago. Yeah, it's, um, I, I go out walking quite a lot and, and I will, I will try and say hello to most people. And it's, it's interesting. Yeah. I think most, most people, you get you get you get a you get a bit you possibly get a bit more contact, which is quite ironic, you know, because because you're because you're giving somebody a wide berth, you you say a little bit of a hello as a, to compensate, and you might get a hello back, and you might get a little bit of a conversation, whereas before you might have just gone you know head down mm -hmm. past each other. So it's uh, yeah, That's you know, I think, you know, psychologists probably having having a field day in all sorts of uh, respects, right? Like this. Yeah. So I don't know if you remember from last time, but I like to get like I like to sort of get into like uh, almost like a therapist point of view of what's what oh, and, and okay. how you've evolved over the years and whatever. So we talked a lot last time about like how you got to where you are, which is so interesting, like so. You were, you were a teacher for a while, I remember, and it was yep. such an interesting history. So uh, would you say, so just getting along those psychological lines, are you mm. an extrovert, do you think, or are you kind of an introvert? I would say I'm definitely an, an introvert. You um, are. Mm, ah. mm, which, is, which, is, which is quite weird if you end up... Um, uh, presenting TV programs that have audiences numbering into into the million. I mean, it's it's, it's actually it, it's. I, I do find that I don't I don't like watching myself back. Um, I'm, it's getting easier, but when I started started doing it, um, it's a bit like hearing your voice recorded. It's like, oh, it don't really sound like that, and and I get the same thing visually. It's like, oh, you know, I can't believe how 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 badly i'm doing that but i think over the yeah over the years i've i've improved and and, I, and again i i suppose the thing about making a tv program is um you know it's 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 what i do for work there you know there is a director there is somebody saying to me i i i respond well to being pushed and so what i do like in a lot of the programs um is is going into a situation where I'm meeting people and talking to people. So for one thing I do quite a lot, I go, I'll, I'll go into a fish market and right, let's just, get, you know, crowded, busy fish market. Let's just get in there and talk to some people. You're getting in the way sometimes visually it's brilliant. And I love that. And it's, it's not the kind of thing that I would normally do, but you're given that little bit of confidence by the fact that, um, I am part of a film crew. This is, you know, this is, this is our, you know, a camera again, it's interesting. That affects how other people react. And I mean, it, some people, it can make them a bit defensive. Other people, it's just like, oh, it just changes the dynamic of the situation. The camera's there in the background. Here comes somebody. And it, it you know, it's, it, 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 it can sort of, it can sort of add a little bit of, ma a little bit of magic, you know, rather than being intrusive, it's, it's, um, yeah, it's hard to explain, but but yes, it, it's yes, yeah, kind of adds excitement it, a little bit, I think. Yeah, and and um, but yes, in in terms of how it affects me, I think I, I think I am a different person on screen. That's the thing. It's you know there there is a screen persona which is not me, and sometimes I can and, I, and I'm trying to narrow the distance. I mean, what I'm doing, I mean, I've been going for a long time now, and uh, when people talk about uh, being a host or a presenter you tend to think of going into a certain mode where you're quite bombastic and you're waving your arms around and it's high energy and all the rest of it. The kind of presenting that I like is, is, is much more conversational, a bit more friendly. It's more confiding and it's actually very hard to do. And that's, and I, I'm trying to get closer and closer to that because that's what I think works really well. And that's what people um, respond to and, and identify with a, a bit better. So that's interesting. So how did you identify that yourself? And then what are you trying to do to get more into that? Like, what's the process and how did you figure it out? Um, well, I think um, I, I mentioned that I don't like seeing myself on screen, but when I, when I am a little bit more sort of natural, um, that just comes across better to me. And also when I see other people doing stuff, you know, that's what I like. And, and I think um, how you get there is 
because the thing is you you know you want it to look very spontaneous and like you just came out with that but a lot of the things that look easy are actually quite hard to do and they're not spontaneous you might need a few goes at it and i think so it's what you don't want to do is 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 script what you want to say but you want to you, but you want to have in your head you want to have an understanding of of what you're trying to get across and you want to have sort of stepping stones this is where i start and i you know i go here here and then this is this is where i finish and um and what's great about that as well is you can you can then you can then sort of walk and talk. You can be doing that. Uh, you can be saying that while you're doing something as well. So you get that visual interest as well. And I, again, I like I like that. I like a bit of visual movement rather than just cameras in your face and you're just talking to the camera. Um, I like the whole thing where I I, um, I like the idea that the viewer is almost next to me. I'm just talking over my shoulder. You know, the viewer is actually coming along with me. is on is on the journey, so it, it, it is like I'm doing something, and I just I'm just turning turning my head, and I'm explaining occasionally, and I go. And when it works, that you know that that for me is 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 how you know this kind of TV should yeah. be. Yeah. So you feel it, you know, when it's working, and you're like, then you can think about it later, be like, yes, that mm. was what I was going for, and that's what I want to do more of. I totally get that. Exactly. And I think, uh, you know, the other, the other thing that I do from time to time is I bring in other people. We have other contributors. And again, the traditional way of that is you sit somebody down, they're facing you and, and you just shoot in their face and in your face. And then you do those dreadful, you know, the noddies where the camera, you know, can you, you know, can you just nod? Can you smile? Can you look, can you look surprised? And then the editor sort of puts it all together and it, and it all sort of works. But I, I, I like something that's, uh, you know, again if i'm if i'm relaxed i can just go and talk to somebody and maybe they're expecting an interview i mean you're you know you're obviously good at this you just start having a general chat and then and then the inter- seamlessly it turns into an interview and, and and same thing you know it's just well let's just you know we just let's just turn the camera on let's just go there and and you know maybe they have we started yeah yeah we've yeah we've done it you know it's yeah, like, exactly <laughs> i think that's what yeah, people like because yeah. it's just the real i don't know i mean i can't really explain why people like it but i'm with you i think people do yeah. i like it mm. I, you know i like it when people are just actually who they are rather than putting on this persona and i guess to some degree you need to have a little bit of a persona when you're actually trying to entertain not only the camera because that's a t- you know some people can do it with the camera and some people can't but then also knowing that there's so many people that you know you're leading through this thing but i yeah. do think that when you're real your true self comes through people really respond to that i think so there's there's one there's one strange thing though that you've got to work through and that is that there, there is this whole thing that when you are being filmed there's something about a camera is it is is it does it, it somehow sucks the a certain amount of energy out of you so if you if you act normally it, it can look like you're on tranquilizers and and oh, and so and so what you know what so a lot of people will compensate by you know the you know waving arms around and 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 that kind of thing um, but I think you you know you have to sort of dial things up a little bit, but not too much. Otherwise, you you do appear just to be very, you know, sort of very sleepy and and, and dull. And I, I've no idea why that is. Um, you know, you would think that how a person is is exactly how that's how the camera captures them. But for some reason, it just it it just appears a little bit flat. And you've got right. to do you, you know you've got to try and just just put in a little bit more energy. Yeah, that's interesting because that was part of why when I started the podcast, it had no video at all. So it was just audio that I was taking at the beginning. And I firmly believed that not having a camera there really helped the conversation because Mm -hmm. both of us could really not feel like we were being watched. And it was just like we were sitting in somebody's living room or a coffee shop and we're having a conversation. And so then when uh, it was recommended that I take some videos, I did a little video with you last time, Mm -hmm. but most of it was just audio. I was kind of like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. And at the beginning, I felt like I do think it's so different. But now, I don't know. I kind of feel like even when there's a camera there, people are more aware. But I do realize that you still can have that real conversation. And I think it has to, I'm not sure why it may have to do with, I don't know, whatever the, whoever the people are and however they feel about, I don't know. I I think it's interesting what you're saying there, because I think you see what's happening at the moment is I'm talking to you. Uh, yeah. If it was if it was a camera in my face, that would that would be that would be totally different. And and I think when you know when we met before, 
talking face to face, even though there's not a camera, is very different from say talking on the phone. But, yes. you know, if, you, if you see somebody, you, you know you've you've got um, you've got that other other dimension of uh, of, of communication going on so i think and, and also that relates back to the whole thing i i was talking about just now about if i go and you know, interview somebody in inverted commas uh instead of sitting them down and, and the cameras in their face you know if it's just me turning up and, and you know i am what they're paying attention to and the camera is just lurking somewhere on on the edges then then they sort of forget about that and it becomes more of a thing with me with me and them right and, and, you, and you get a better sense of, of them out of it I guess part of it then is where the cameras are going to be set up or how, mm. right? You think that has something to do with it? Uh, yes, I think, um, oh, I mean, you know, camera work in itself, I mean, is uh, the, the best camera people I found are the, you know, the, the ones who have a real instinct. And it's, it's not about necessarily rules. I, I mean, again, the, the, you know, the kind of camera work that I like just sort of drifts around and you know you know one thing that some people can try and do is is you know you 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 want to be on somebody when they say something very significant um but you don't necessarily need to be on on people all the time and i i think you know a confident camera person can sometimes be on one person and then they just drift towards the other one. They're not whipping backwards and forwards, boom, boom, boom. You know, that becomes very high energy. What's that person doing? You know, running around, you know. Uh, and the right. camera's just just drifting around. You, you know, it's... Um, That's so interesting. Yeah. Um, it's funny because we, my, my daughter and I were watching a movie the other night. And it was like, it wasn't the great... I'm not going to say the name of the movie, but it wasn't right. great. And you could see that one of the big flaws was the camera work mm -hmm. that I don't know it was so noticeable that it just wasn't good or it wasn't right and you don't even most of the time unless it's really stunning you don't even notice the camera work right mm -hmm. um, and but then you realize when you see something where it's bad camera work just how critical yes. a talented you know uh, yes. person behind the camera makes such a big difference so Absolutely. it is so interesting. And like, it's not something I would normally think of, but you know that obviously, because you think about that a lot. Well, I think it's, it's interesting because I think, I think you will notice it if it gets to a level where, where you, you consciously notice it. But I think before you get to that point, sometimes there's stuff going on which you, you don't consciously notice, but, be, but because it's not quite right, it just, you know, it just doesn't feel... Yeah. Again, it's one of those things, like I say, if, if it's... If, it can it can look really easy and and almost a little bit sort of sloppy um but you know if something if something's if something is done well and it works well it sort it sort of looks like it's easy and it looks like there's no thought gone into it you know but actually yeah. a lot of thought has gone into it yeah and i appreciate it. i definitely appreciate that um so it is interesting though how you said so we started talking about the camera and everything else and how you're able to be more, uh, or you're naturally more, I don't know what the word is, when there's a camera on you. But you started by saying that you're an introvert. So yeah, right now uh, I don't see any evidence of you being an introvert. Well, I mean, what, it helps if you, have a, if you have a context where you know what you're going to, you, you know that you're going to be talking about something that you know something about. I, I think uh, what is... Uh, the kind of person I would like to be. I, I've got friends who are just brilliant raconteurs. You know, you just, they, they will just, you get into a conversation with them and they'll just be talking about any kind of stuff. They, you know, something that just happened to them. They are just entertaining you. And, I, and I'm, I'm not like that. I, you know, I wish I was. Um, I, can, I can talk about what I know, but I can't just riff on stuff that's going on around me. Um, so yes, I, I am more outgoing uh, when there's a camera around because normally I, I've, I've got a bit of an idea of, of, of what's going to happen and I know the subject matter. So if I'm pushed into that situation, I can, I can look after myself. It's, yes, it's doing, it's, it's doing your homework, which is, um, 
again a lot of people would say with river monsters you know oh don't you get scared going into these these uh you know these 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 crazy places and these gnarly fish and it's well you would do if you hadn't done your homework but if you do your homework uh then no i'm i'm, I'm ready for this um i understand the environment i understand the creatures um okay we might get a little bit sort of close to the edge now and then but i, I know i know what i'm doing i'm confident yeah, it's your comfort zone clearly so it sounds like yeah. when you're when you're home then you probably have no problem being alone like for hours at a time and not talking to anybody is that right yeah i um yes uh, no, that, i mean you know that that could come across as a bit sad you know i can i, I can i can be well I, I, I can be pretty self-sufficient the days actually go very quickly i'm i'm finding that i'm, I'm very busy um but that's what an introvert needs, I think, is that time to recharge where they don't have to be like interacting yeah. with other people. It's good. I think, I think balance is good. I mean, I, I, I do spend a lot of time living inside my head. I do, I do, I do think about things, and, and, uh, but I think you, you've got to counterpoint that with uh, contact with real people in the real world. Very, very important. If you, yeah. It's, and I think particularly these days, you know, what we're, what we're seeing a lot of is um, a lot of people doing so much interacting with a screen and what, and, and, and they're searching out material um, on their computer and the, and the whole way that the information technology works, it's like, oh, you like this kind of stuff. We will give you more of this kind of stuff. So you end up um, the stuff that comes at you is totally filtered. You are literally living in your own world. You know, you've created your own world, which you project on the real world. And you, you know, you need to get out there occasionally and just check that the real world is what the, right, your computer right. is telling you what it's like, you know, so go out and talk to lots of different people, uh, get your information from lots of different sources. You know, that is the healthy thing to do. Yeah. Uh, it's and, almost and, like, and, and real people as well. Cause you know, you know, there are people who I, who I disagree with, but I quite like, you know, and I think it's important to have that situation rather than hating, you know, getting in this state where you just hate everybody who doesn't think the way you do. So how do you think, over the years, I know you've been through so many changes over the years. How do you think you've evolved as a person? Like, how are you different now from the person that you were, I don't know, when you were 25 or something? Ooh, well, I think, uh, I think you know, a, a lot of people when they are 25 have a fairly good idea of, of the direction they're going in, or they, you know, they, they might be in a sort of a steady job or anything or something like that. Um, I mean, it took me. Uh, I have, I have been just bouncing around. Um, so this, this whole TV thing that I'm doing now, I've only been doing, let me see, uh, continuously for, for about 12 years. So I, you know, I, I, I was getting, I was at the point where some people are considering early retirement before I got my, my regular work, you know? So, That's so when so I, so, yeah, so, so, so when I was younger, um, I, I suppose my life was very defined by uncertainty. You know, I didn't know I was doing a bit of this, a bit of that. I was, I was hoping that I would find something that, um, you know, like, like all people, something that would uh, provide uh, a living, but also that I would be interested in. And I found it quite hard looking at looking at how the world was. You know, the, the, the world is sort of it's. Yeah, you know, I'm afraid to. Say, you know, it, it it is a myth to say that you know it's it's not all about hard work. Um, a certain amount of luck is involved, and for an awful lot of people, that that you know that that magical position of of um, you know doing something that you you're you're interested in, which also keeps you going, really hard to find. Really hard to find. Um, and and I think yeah I, I spent a lot of time doubting that I would that I would find that and so now um, yeah I, I I I pinch myself occasionally um, 
I, you know, I do wish I could somehow mail some money back to my younger self. You know, I was, I was, I was quite impoverished a lot of the time, you know, sort of like, Oh, <laughs> you know, just what's in this envelope. There we go. Uh, you know, would have made, made life a little bit more fun um, occasionally perhaps. But, uh, <laughs> if only, could you imagine <laughs> like when you were younger, you would get money in the mail for yourself <laughs> and you would know that don't worry, Jeremy, like it's all going to be fine. You're not even going to believe what's ahead of you. Yeah. Can you imagine? Maybe in the future that will be possible. We can we can do that, you know. So send it through a, a, a time portal. But but uh, you know, so being a bit more serious, I, th I think it, uh, it it makes me appreciate where I am now. Um, yeah. I might have mentioned this when I spoke to you before. I mean, the, my um, both my parents passed away before before things came good for me, and 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 in in one sense, you know, a lot of what you do is is you know it, it, you know th th they are a big audience and and it's you know they they had a lot of faith in me uh, even when it looked like i was possibly not going anywhere but you know what you're doing is interesting and it's just a shame that they weren't really able to see how that suddenly you know suddenly yeah. happened so 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 you know there's part of me that thinks uh, you know um What's the word? You know, part of me thinks you know that that it's almost you know not 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 irrelevant, but it's not it's not such a big deal. Um, yeah. Uh, you know what, what I'm doing now. Um, That's tough. But, yeah. Because it is a big deal, but it it's if only they could have seen because they watched you through all of those times. Yeah. Of, uh, yeah. But yeah. I think you know. But again, you know, that's that, that that is that is life, isn't it? You know, it's it's that's that's something we all have to get uh, come to terms with the passage of time, aging, uh, loss, and all the rest of it. And um, and again, I think as you as you get older, you possibly appreciate more. Um, you're not living so much in the future. You're just trying to uh, appreciate things as they are now, which is which is quite hard to do because I think I've always been. You know, I, I've. Um, someone who does look ahead um, and you don't want to be doing that to the exclusion of what's what's in front of you right now yeah well that's a good perspective to have I guess if you're if you can see that you don't want to do that then you are looking at the present and appreciating where you are yes um, yeah and actually I mean something you know I um, something I have done a couple of times sort of over, over my I hesitate to use the word career because I haven't really been a career until recently, but, but no, I, yes, I, um, talking about the present, you know, there have been situations where I have not been, I've not been satisfied. I've not been happy. I might've been relatively, um, relatively secure financially. I mean, I, you know, I, I did have a couple of, uh, a couple of jobs that could have turned into careers and I just thought no I'm not I, I you know I don't this is not leading you know I can't see this leading where I want to go I don't know where it I don't know where I want to go but I don't think this is taking me there so so I walked out of a couple of things was that advertising was an advertising agent that was one of them yes yeah. that was one of them yeah advertising and and also when you know when I was a teacher um you know the, the way teaching is set up here it's not it's not as fulfilling as it ought to be and so i realized that fairly quickly and and so right i'm not going to keep doing this um but then when you're just if you haven't got something else lined up you're just literally stepping out into the into the wilderness that's actually quite hard to do um not having dependents makes that a lot easier because it's not just you who's um you know yeah in, in my case it was just me living with that uh, that decision but if you've got other people it becomes a much bigger decision yeah um so what did you what do you do you think about your parents a lot and what did you learn like what are you taking with you now um them? oh gosh yeah i mean it, it, it i i would say they are sort of in in, in yeah, you know, the back of my mind quite a lot. Um, uh, my dad was a very hard worker; had a real sense of duty. He was a, he was a, a minister, and he was very um, he saw the pastoral side of his job as as very important. So it was a case of. Uh, 
pe people in the parish who are going through difficulties, you know, you just need some kind of support, you know, he, he would be there. So um, I don't totally sort of, you know, what, you know, what I do isn't, isn't the same kind of thing. But, I, but, I, but having said that, I do realize that a lot of, um, a lot of people who watch the programs I do are very, uh, they don't just watch them, they're really enthusiastic about them. They really sort of fire them up, and they they do see me as something of a role model, uh, which is quite a responsibility. Um, in the early days, uh, people would send me emails, and I, I you know I would I would reply to emails. And, and the thing is, what happens when you're successful? Uh, the numbers build up, and it gets to a point where they, that just isn't possible. And so that gives a little bit of a, of, a, of a feeling of, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm letting people down because I'm, you know, there is no, you know, there is not that kind of, of relationship, but it's not really, it's not really possible at a certain point, but through the medium of, of, of the programs, you can still give them a sense of, uh, you know, um, a sense of a person who yeah, maybe some aspects of uh you know yeah. they, they they might want to aspire to um, that's interesting so when did you like you started to see the numbers were going up so you was that hard to like let the first emails go you know what i mean like whereas you yeah. were, what was that like yes it was i mean again i suppose um the the, the way i was brought up is it's you know it's just a, it's just a question of manners if somebody if somebody contacts you you reply to them it's just it's it's just politeness and then and then it gets to your point where you're just doing that the whole time and it's like if i if i keep doing this i can't work i've got you know so i'm gonna i'm just gonna have to i'm just gonna have to stop doing this and um and it, it does leave this sort of residue of guilt and um one thing i did I, i'm not a huge fan of social media because i mean social media makes that sort of easier and i i did dabble in social media but unfortunately the you know the the ecosystem you've got there unfortunately um the uh i i i started doing an instagram page and and, and there was um there were actually some people who were res responding to some posts there who started getting harassed and and basically uh uh ab abused by other people and it and it's like you know i try to deal with that and it got to the point where the the only reason i think you know, the only way i can protect um we're not talking a lot of people but the only reason i can protect some some people who are potentially vulnerable is to just turn off commenting i'm just you know all you know i, I i'm i'm just that that um that actual back and forth you know that interaction unfortunately we're gonna to have to shut it down it's just me putting an announcement out there you know um like like recently this new program's coming out and the, the, there's, no, there's no there's no there's no dialogue and unfortunately that is that is just the uh, down to the somewhat toxic uh, nature, you know. If you if you if you st okay, you know, it's like it's like a pond, you know. If you start delving into the social media um, ecosystem, there's stuff down there that you really, you, you know, you you sort of don't want to know about. You don't want to deal with. And unfortunately, um, I think it's something I feel quite strongly about. I think I think social media could be much much better than it is. Uh, you know, we put up with it because that's what we've got. And it's, you know, it's, but it doesn't necessarily serve the interests of the users uh, anything like as well as it could do. That's interesting. So I am surprised that that happened on Instagram because you usually hear those stories on Facebook or yeah. on Twitter, right? I, yeah, but I think uh, in, in my case, well, um, I mean, that's the only thing that I had that I had experience of, and I think I think you know if if there are people who want to, um, you know, for whatever reasons they, they just want to sort of uh, make other people's lives difficult, they they will just find whatever you know means. Yeah, so that's too bad because so, that could have been a way for you to talk to people without it taking all day, you know. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. you know, um, yes, exactly. Um, yeah, I, you know, I think I think it's a great idea, but it, you know, it's one of those things which is a great idea, but in practice, it falls short of, of what it could be. Right.
So what about when people, because I think you told me last time that you get recognized a lot. Like you're, you, I think you even told me you would be walking around New York City or wherever, right? Did you tell me that? And then people just are always spotting you, correct? Yeah, yeah. I mean, and, and nowadays it's it's sort of you know even in even in Mongolia or Fiji or whatever, you know, it's yeah, it's, it's every, it's like, international. like yeah. the entire world, mm. you're recognizable. Mm. So, um, how is that? For you now like i mean i guess you're not seeing anybody right now but. it's it's um it, it it's a mixed blessing uh because i mean the fact i'm in the inter- the entertainment business and and so the fact that somebody says hello or i've seen you on the tv i mean that is great because if 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 that wasn't happening uh then that's probably a sign that i need to, to think about another job you know so that 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 you know that is really good uh you know that, that sort of testifies to the fact that, that the, the programs are very successful However, um, I can't. T- you can't turn it off. I mean, maybe face masks now. You know, maybe uh, maybe that will give me a bit. You know, if if they become more of a, a, a long term thing. Um, I and feel also, like they'll still recognise you, though. Yeah, I've, I, honestly, I've I, I've had people. I've had people. I've had. I've been walking along the the, the sidewalk, and I've 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 been wearing like a beanie. And I've had people recognize me from behind and they'll, you know, the, the car will toot and they'll, they'll wave and, and shout my name, you know, so it's, I don't so know. So what do they rec- They recognize your walk or something? What do it, they it, rec- it, it, it could be the walk. It could be the, it could be the hair. I don't uh-huh. know. Uh-huh. Um, but the, yeah, so you, you, you can't turn it off. And then the, the other thing, the other thing, unfortunately, is it means I've sort of got to be on my best behavior um because all the time you, you know when you're not anonymous that, you know, that, that relates back to the whole the whole social media thing social media so many people you know you go on there you're anonymous it should almost unless you live in a in a repressive regime you should not be anonymous you know if if you if you are if you're prepared to stand by what you're saying if you want to interact with other people do it as your real self you know there's something a bit dodgy about being anonymous um but I mean, in, in my case, it's yeah. The, the 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 fact that you are you are I am constantly recognised. That that can be a little bit oppressive, you know. You I do find myself yearning. It would be nice just to switch it off occasionally, and so I can you know I can be bad tempered or whatever. That's that's the thing, you know. If I'm yeah. uh, bad tempered or rude, sometimes you know sometimes. Sometimes being rude is justified, uh, and you know I will stand by that. Sometimes, again, on a bad day, some of us we might be rude to somebody, and then oh, you know that's I shouldn't have done that. But then if if people know who you are, then suddenly it's you know it, it escalates, yeah. and so all the time, sort of best behavior, best behavior, which is you know can be a bit, yeah, uh, can be a bit uh, a bit tiring, you know, yeah, <laughs> a bit of a drag. But that's yeah, yeah, all, yeah. Every, all the time. Anytime you go mm. out, I would imagine you just never know who's watching you and mm. who's going to talk about it and tell everybody they know too, mm. right? That was yeah. going to spread I, I, like wildfire. I guess yes. I you know that. Um, I mean, it hasn't. You know, it hasn't got to the levels of. You know. It's not the same as being like a, a Hollywood A-lister, where you you know you just have to live in your in your gated mansion. You have right, to have right. smoke glass windows. No, it hasn't. It hasn't. It hasn't got to that, and, and yeah, I, don't, yeah. don't, I don't think it will somehow. And, and well, I'm, quite, really I'm quite, good, quite happy with quite happy with that. Yeah. <laughs> you're right. It's a better better place where you're. It's a sweet hmm. spot. Yeah. So let me ask you a few more sort of like big questions and then we'll wrap up and you can uh, go into the garden hmm. or go look for some fish or see your brother. Good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sounds so good. I probably asked you this last time, but I am going to ask it again because I like to ask it. Who is Jeremy Wade? Who are you? Mm. Little question. Little question. You see, this is me. I sort of go in. I've got to think about, you know, I just intellectualize that too much. Um, I, I think I, I am somebody who is in, in the lucky position who's, who's, who's sort of, you know, struggled a bit for a lot of his life and has suddenly found himself in a, in a, in a good spot and is, is appreciating that. Um, I, I think another, another answer to that, which I think possibly um, reflects this, the success of the TV programs, I think in some sense, I, I am a sort of every man as well in that I think people can watch, for example, a River Monsters episode 
and the way we make it they they can sort of imagine themselves with me it's like you know if, if if i explain what's what's happening what's going through my head i think people can relate to that and it's so so you, you know as well as being an individual I, I think what i do in the tv programs is, is is sort of reflect back the viewer's own uh personality possibly yeah i i think there are you know there's there's obviously a lot despite all the differences between people there is an awful lot in common as well and I, and I suppose what I try to do is tap into that and sort of transmit that and bring people in through doing that um, and, that, and that is you know part of that is flawed I mean it's interesting because uh, I know that if, if I'm on camera and if I mess up or if I lose it a bit you know if I if I swear um, I, that you know we sh we shoot maybe 50 hours of film to make to make one hour you know if, if i start if i start to lose the plot i know that you know they're going to use that they're going to use that because that and, and the and the reason is because that's that you know that shows my fallibility it shows that i'm a real person um and what you don't want to do and, and i totally appreciate that now. I'm, I'm i'm happy with that uh, in the early days it's like why why are you showing that it makes me look bad but actually no what it does it shows that you're a real person and well, that's think, like what we were talking about before. Mm, it's about mm, the authenticity, having a yeah. conversation and being real, the real you. So yes. that is good. But there's, but you know, we all have a slightly bad side, a slightly dark side, and so do, and so do I. And, and and occasionally out it comes, and like, whoops, okay, there it is. You saw that. Let's put it back in the box. Let's try and <laughs> let's try, yeah. let's try and keep it in its box for a while. But I've got that as well, and I try and sort of work work through that. That's so funny. <laughs> um, if you could change one thing about yourself, what would you change? Oh gosh! I, yeah, I, 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 I'd, uh, I'd quite like to sort of rewind a, a couple of decades physically. That would be quite good. But I suppose that's you know that's not what you're talking about, really. Um, I don't know. Uh, a, a side gig that I've that I'm you know I'm always trying to do is I'm, I'm as well as the TV work I, I try to write and uh that require i find it very hard uh it requires a lot of discipline and i think just uh a bit more discipline there it's one of, one of those things though that once you know once it starts to work it it, it gets it, you get that positive feedback and and it, it builds momentum but actually getting it rolling to start with is really hard so a little a little bit more self-discipline which you know okay. might be getting a bit late for that but um possibly no you <laughs> you are a perfect example of it's never too late to arrive mm. where you mm. you know where you need to be or where you want mm. to be right so forget that it's not too late okay it's, good um if you could live anywhere you've been everywhere are, are mm. you do you choose to live in the uk because you like it more than anything or would you <sighs> choose a different place if you if all things were equal um without going into detail there is an awful lot about the uk that i really don't like but uh friends and family are here um i do like the countryside i like the weather um uh before my tv work took off i was i was i was um i was toying with the idea of moving to portugal because i uh i i was a fairly fluent portuguese speaker um but i'd never been to portugal and the reason for, reason for that was i i'd been going to brazil a lot so i i learned portuguese by by spending a lot of time in brazil um i've i've spent one long weekend in lisbon which i thought was great um and I don't know, I'm, I'm thinking, you know, that idea is sort of coming back. Uh, uh, Portugal is another, you know, th an, another example of a country that has done pretty well in the current crisis. You don't, you don't hear a lot about them, but they, they rolled their sleeves up and they have, they've done a good job, you know, which, and again, I, th I think, you know, those places that, that, that there are out there, you, I think people are starting to look at look at them now and go, what is it? What is it they do? What are the, what are they getting right. right that we aren't? You know. So I think, um, yeah, Portugal maybe. Okay. And what do you want out of life? Gosh, um, a, a big part of that is is work. Um, I um, I can't see myself retiring. I I. I 
I, I, I like to work, um, but th you know, that is work that is, that is producing, it is producing something and, and that, that gives me satisfaction, but it's, it's very, um, it is, it is quite a big thing for me that that, that is also um, enjoyed, appreciated by other people. And particularly when I look back to the fact that um, in my, in my twenties, I, I was this thwarted teacher, you know, I was in, you know, I wanted to be a teacher and that didn't work out. Um, and suddenly here I am in a situation where I have this massive audience and, and people are learning things from what I do and they're doing it in, in, in an enjoyable way. And uh, that feels good. So I, you know, I want to keep on doing that. And uh, as we've discussed earlier on, I, I, I see plenty of room for improvement in that as well. Um, and I've forgotten the question. I, was, I, I tend to well, go that, off on tangents. That, <laughs> that, that wasn't a tangent. That, it was that, really. That was, that, that was it. Okay. That that was the, was, yeah. Well, the question was, what do you want out of life? And what work, what, work what, was a big part of it. That's, that's, that's a big one. That is, a, that is a very big one. Yes. Yeah. And, you know, just to stay, to stay healthy, to have, a, to have a bit more time. And, uh, and uh, despite the being, being the introvert, you know, just, just uh, in, enjoy other people as well. Okay, great. I think that's good. So uh, I think we're good. Did we not cover anything? I mean, are there, is there, or should we just save it for next time? Uh, no, that's, that's, that, 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 felt, that felt very good. Very nice. Uh, okay. uh, yeah, good to see. Uh, yeah, good to see you're, 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 you're doing well. And, and this, is, this is still going on. And, and uh, you know, it's, it's do, doing well, isn't it? It's, yeah, uh, I mean, good. I have to say I'm surprised that because mm -hmm. for me, like I'm all about the one-to-one -one and like you mm -hmm. were saying, us sitting down across from each other and just looking at each other and having a great conversation. So when this happened, before this happened, I always would say no to anybody who wanted to do it remotely. Like they wanted mm -hmm. to do it on the phone mm -hmm. or they wanted mm -hmm. to do a Zoom. And I would say, no, this is in-person only because to me, it's all about that. But then after this happened, I really had no choice. So I was like, okay, I better just do it. And so I did, and I have to tell you, I'm thrilled that I'm doing it. I'm, yes. I'm definitely going to go back to in-person when I can, but it's so much better to me than not doing it. Like I oh, thrive yes. on this. And people are real now with everybody home, it's yeah. like really gaining momentum more than it ever has, which is yes. great to see. So it's yep. good, knock on wood. Yeah. And, and, you know, what it does as well, it opens, exactly, it opens things up because even, even, uh, even in sort of like a, no, a normal situation, you could talk to somebody in Australia uh, who's, you know, who's not going to, you know, they're not going to come and sit down on a, at a table, but you can just, you can just call them up and, and yeah. off you go. Yeah. So I guess I'll do both, I mean, you know, I'll open up to both, mm. I guess, possibilities. Mm -hmm. But like if somebody's in New York, I would definitely prefer that. But this is great too. Like, I feel like we had mm. no problem having a good conversation today, even though we're on computers. Exactly. Yeah. And yeah, we're not getting any sort of weird lag or anything. No, it seems, it seems yeah. fine. Yeah. Which we could have. I had had a few sna uh, technical snafus, but they're not terrible. And now we're doing it. We're putting it up on YouTube too, which is nice because then people can see the videos and not right. just listen to the podcast. So right. it's a right. bonus in that way too. So yeah. it's good. How long ago was that last one? Um, you probably, it, was, it feels like about four, four or five years. I would say two. I started the podcast three years ago. Oh, really? So, yeah. So, I'm, yeah. so I think, um, so what I can say is this, when I did a little video with you, but you must have been mm. one of my first videos because I noticed that I held my cell phone camera upright, which yeah. is like the worst way to take a video. But I did that. So that tells me that I was just starting the videos with you. Do you know, it's interesting because I, 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 I prefer horizontal, but the way yeah, but everybody seems to do it. I know. Maybe, maybe that's the way it's. But you know what? That's yeah. good for, mm. that's like fine if you're going to just post it mm. on Instagram or something. But for mm. everything else, you're going to want yeah. it to be horizontal. So yeah. now yeah, I know exactly. I'll do I turn horizontal. That way yeah. I can put it on YouTube nicely. And you yes. can still cut it down to go on to uh, Instagram because everybody does mm. look on their phone like that. Mm. So I, th I would think, I think it's been about, it was about two years ago. I think it's interesting. Mm. I also have to tell you too, that it is so interesting that your whole start was with like fishing, right? And now mm, this is mm. really not fishing at all, but you no. are really got, you're, you're able to do everything, which I think it's really nice that mm. you, you know, can step into so many different areas. There's that mm. common thread, I guess, but mm -hmm. um, I think it's great. It's good. Yeah. yeah. And I guess you do too. 
Yeah, no, it's, it, exactly. And and and, it, and again, it feels comfortable. I mean, what what I don't want to do is just be sort of parachuted in to do whatever, you know. Right. Uh, but so that you know, there is a bit there is a bit of continuity. So that's um, that's 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 good. Feels. Yeah, yeah. Feels well, I hope good. you get back. Natural. Yeah, mm. I hope you mm. get back on the road soon, though. For Thank you. you. Yes, for, yes, yes. I'm sure you'll feel good doing yeah. that. And yeah. keep in touch for sure. And yeah. uh, I wish you all the best. And uh, we'll mm. talk again. I'm sure. Okay. Okay, Jeremy. Thanks. All right. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. Well. Okay. Bye. Take Bye. care. That was Jeremy Wade. Please check out my fun celebrity interview or conversation videos now at youtube.com slash really famous. Thank you to Pat and Kevin and Bob and Lindsay and Jamie for supporting the show. I'm Kara. This is really famous. Thanks for hanging out with me and Jeremy Wade. More real talks coming your way very soon.